Hello and welcome to Lord Lucan. And it's an episode of two parts. First we're going to take a look at the wannabe AliExpress Empress Monique, then take a trip into vintage Lalu territory. We'll be getting a workout. Then we'll be going shopping. And take a trip back to season one of Love During Lockup. Cheat it like the do. Yes. Woohoo. Hello to all the beautiful people who are on board and subscribed to the channel. And an upgrade to first class to the lords and ladies of the Lucan Manor. There are a few things that are reliable in the world. The sun will come up in the morning. Self-obsessed people will make it onto Lalu. Wannabe rappers will wannabe rappers and convince people they're a big deal. And talentless, irrelevant, comment-baiting succubuses will try to relieve you of your hard-earned cash to flog you something cheap they bought in bulk from AliExpress. <coughs> but I'm sure the latest irrelevant, sympathy-seeking cap spreader wouldn't be like that, would they? So let's just take Slow-Mo, for example. She's got a lovely new business venture selling wigs that we can see on her lovely website. Mmm, good quality header. Nothing says quality like a nice low-res image. But hey, it's not bad for a Shopify site with the delightful dawn theme. And here are lovely wigs. Mmm, nice sticks. Hang on a second. Are these the same sticks we see in these pictures? That pink band is certainly familiar. I'm sure it's not really this image from Miss Toxic's AliExpress store but with the background poorly taken out? No, I'm sure it's totally just a coincidence. I mean, reselling products isn't dodgy, it's just a bit dishonest to charge five times the price because you think you're worth it. And oh look, this wavy one has some delightful black gaffer tape holding it together. And I'm sure it hasn't been edited using a mobile phone. That picture aspect ratio is just a coincidence. But it doesn't actually come styled. Hang on a second. That photo is familiar. I wonder if it's the same one from Air Cabin Hair, but with the background poorly edited. And ooh, look, they've got an AliExpress site too. And I'm sure her terms and conditions don't suggest she's got no insurance when sending the items and no return policy on the wigs. If only she applied that to diminutive cheating ex-fiancés. But hey, she's even got a little discount code for Mother's Day. I can see a theme in her victimhood campaign style. She's gone from code by Derek to Malia. Unfortunately, Malia was the name of the child she lost a few years ago, but it totally illustrates her pity style to me. Yes, it's sad. Yes, it's great to honor angel children, but is it right to use that as a selling point? No, absolutely it's not. Sure, there's a connection with Mother's Day, but why use it to sell overinflated wigs that you're getting from AliExpress. Pity or sympathy is not a marketing device, and a bad experience is not an excuse to use your sense of victimhood to cash in on other people's feelings. That's pretty despicable to me. It's a disgusting example of a person's desire for emotional manipulation and money over a genuine homage to a fallen angel. It's a repulsive person who uses DV one minute and lost the next to promote her old self-serving, money-grabbing piece of crap. But maybe her 300,000 plus followers think differently. Hang on a second. She went from 101,000 to 306,000 pretty fast. It only took a month or so. And I'm sure she wouldn't hide the followers so no one could see all those bots. Because having 300,000 plus followers but an engagement of only 8% isn't at all suspicious. Even Juju doesn't do that. Or Deontay, even though he has hidden some followers. Or that Mills fellow. But can you guess who does have them hidden? Mocha. I mean, you all know how genuine he is. But I'm sure it's all fine. I mean, how bad could it be to buy followers and use that to gain brand affiliations? It's only that little pesky Section 5A of the Federal Trade Act that says it's illegal to use deceptive acts or practices to affect commerce. Anyway, I'm sure it's all fine. I bet someone who totally uses claims of DV to attempt to stay relevant and boils Derek's bunny when he goes to Atlanta is completely making sound decisions about money and clout. But before we continue, it's time for a quick commercial break. Are you sick of not being the way your filters show you? 
Do you dream of making those deceptive selfies a reality? Well, fear not, because you too could own the latest fitness trend with slow-mo. Do it, or I'll ferk you herb. Featuring some of the fan favourites. Hey, look at me, I'm the victim. And don't forget, squish him in the bathroom door. And of course, the always popular, if you're gonna swing, then swing. And don't forget, the good old, give me your money, or I'll knee you in the balls. Now available for a low price of $1,800, but you can save 1% by entering the code GASLIGHTRS. Well then, let's get back to the Red Show Love During Lockup episode. And Indy and her sister are doing a bit of poetry, don't you know a tree? Cheat it, like the do. Yes. Woohoo! 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 Wee! Uh, ah, ah, uh, maybe it's not as fun as it sounds, but sister has some sound analysis of the situation. I definitely think my sister is too mature for him. Why? Is he five or something? But India has a kind of Disney princess level maturity. And after a consultation with the amazing Anaris, India is convinced that Harry is up to no good. Listen to me, I'm not gonna be mad if you if you did, I just wanna know. Yeah, way to go. That acceptance of cheating will totally make him think twice about cheating. Off now to see what Tay is up to with the After Weight Watchers version of Slow Mo. You blanked out, like you, it went from zero to 60. But Tay's annoyed because of all that hoodie business. I've been asking you for that hoodie for two months. Well, you could have got your own one for only $60 online. Maybe Slow Mo will start selling them for $500 soon. But I guess that's what you get for messing with these baby gangsters. Literally, you're trash. And with a click of her fingers, she says she'll have a new man to add to her collection. Get a new man like that. Yeah, it won't be hard, huh? Like Does she have pillow hands like Jeffrey? Oh, I love her clicking thing. Looks like she's milking a goat. <laughs> and some other stuff happens, but it was dull, and my brain ran off to hide in a corner. So then, my beautiful people, that's it for today. A slightly shorter episode, but we've seen off the last of Season 1, Episode 8, and got an idea of that rancid slow most business practices. Stay tuned to the channel for more silliness and stuff coming this week, and of course on Monday Night Live Sessions. So until then, stay beautiful. Love to my three. You take care of yourself. <laughs>